Hi, welcome. Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a 3D benchmark test on a brand new Dell XPX 8940. Here, you can see that the processor runs on an Intel 11 Gen, have the i7 on it, and it's 2.5 gigahertz. It also comes with 16 gigs of RAM. I believe you can upgrade it to 32 gigs of RAM. That's not a problem because it has four slots in the desktop and additional two slots are available. I'll have a separate video where I do a teardown. I'll try to link it somewhere here on the top or the description below. Go ahead and check the link. It's a complete teardown about this brand new Dell XPX 8940. All right, let's move on. It runs on a Windows 10 Professional here, Windows 10 Pro, 64-bit. And this runs on the uh, 512 M.2 NVMe drive. All right, so here is the 3D mark. And again, quickly run through the specs for you. Has the Windows 10, 64-bit, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigabytes M.2 NVMe. Processor is Intel um, i7, 11 generation is 2.5. Uh, gigahertz the graphics card here is a built-in so it's a built-in graphics card coming from the cpu it doesn't have the external graphics card on it there's no gtx or nvidia uh, or amd graphics card it's just a built-in so i like to run the test and kind of see what's the result at the end of the um, um, the test so to me that this computer here, I believe uh, it is mid-range desktop. If you're gonna use it for daily use, like checking your emails, doing Excel spreadsheet, work documents, you know, a little bit of social media, play a tiny small game like Roblox. I don't know, things like that. Something simple and easy, perfect. This computer here can handle that without any problem uh, based on the specs that is listed on the website. Now, if you're going to use it for like intense gaming, right? If you're going to use it for um, 3D AutoCAD design or maybe something sophisticated or complicated design in Adobe Photoshop or maybe Adobe Illustrator, this might not be a good computer for you. Okay, I don't think it can handle heavy intensive graphic design or maybe video editing. As you can see the result right now, that the screen is not smooth. All right, so I'm actually using a third party camera doing the bird's eye view, pointing down and recording a monitor screen. Okay, even right now I'm looking at the monitor screen, I can see that the screen is laggy. It's not smooth, it's jaggy. Um, I don't think it's great for intense gaming, but if you're going to use it for simple gaming, uh, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, maybe like Minecraft, Roblox, things like that, Solitaire. You know, simple games. Uh, I, I believe you can do that. But any heavy intense game might not be a solution for you. You might have to end up buying a third party graphics card. Um, I have, I did a complete teardown video, like I said earlier in, a, um, in, in, my, in my video here, that I would recommend you to go ahead and check it out. In the teardown, I talk about the graphics card. I talk about what you can buy, what you can add. Um, luckily that the computer power supply have enough power to give you additional six pin connector to power up a graphics card. So maybe the graphics card is not something like 3060 GTX or NVIDIA, right? So it will be something uh, lower mid range, nothing high end graphics card because it needs a lot of power. Uh, but if you're gonna go with mid-range graphic card um, like in 1060 or maybe like 1080 that runs on a six pin connector 
that might able to you know get you a better gaming okay so right now it's running the uh, benchmark test um i i don't think i'm quite happy with the result but like i said again if you're gonna use it for something simple day in day out um uh, doing like basic emails word spreadsheet documents not a problem okay so i'm just gonna let the benchmark run the entire process and i come back and we're going to talk about the result but as for now i'm just going to keep quiet and enjoy your video right enjoy this uh this benchmark test if you have any question uh please comment below i read the comment and i do reply uh your question in the comment so if you're not sure um what to buy or if you have any question related about a computer go ahead and comment below and i'm more than happy to uh to answer those questions okay so again uh if you haven't liked the the video and if you find this video is helpful please go ahead and and like the video i i appreciate you for doing that uh, but if you haven't subscribed to my channel um subscribe and hit the notification bell and i do a lot of uh, repair video and how to video uh, things like that so um, I hope that I'm able to help you one day so if you have any question computer related stuff um, feel free to comment below okay so let me come back here when the result is done as for now I'm just gonna let it run okay All right, it seems like the result is here. The benchmark test is completed. Obviously, the CPU score is very high. I like it in a 7000 range. This is a perfect CPU score for the Intel uh, i7. However, if you look at the graphics score, it's only 618. So this is very low. I'm not happy at all with the graphics here um like i said you know it is not meant for game it is not meant for um intense graphic design or 3d graphics design anything like that but this desktop is a good level entry in fact it's better than level entry mid-range um, upper mid-range desktop for any regular daily use email social media word document things like that all right so i think that um if you're gonna have this computer here for your you know stay at home thing and you're gonna use it for your little bit of work uh, things like that this is a perfect computer for you all right other than that i'm not too sure what else is there to talk about with the 3d benchmark here um but if you have any question comment below if you haven't checked out the teardown computer uh, on this Dell XPX 8940, go ahead and check out. I'll have the link in the description below. 
and uh, or somewhere in a box here so go ahead and check it out do not forget to do that um give me a like if you enjoy this video um subscribe if you haven't but other than that until next time please take care bye now